Okay, I want to talk about an easy way to, to do an e-transmit using whether it's AutoCAD or Serial 3D. It works the same for any type of file that you may have that you open up and you realize that this has got X refs, it's got pictures attached to it, it may have pin style plots attached to it and different things. And you know, how do you e transmit or how do you compile that into one drawing to send to somebody else to where they can open it up and make it simple, quick and fast that you can get it done and ensure everything's in there. The thing that you can do is go over here to your left hand tool over here on the corner which is usually your file open in, in your other AutoCAD versions and it works the same there as well as long as you find uh, e-transmit. Now in this particular Civil 3D it's, it's in the send I think in the other versions if you're just using standard AutoCAD it, it'll show up right here under file you'll you'll see it right off the bat but the key is e-transmit and it creates like I says it creates a package of drawings and files and anything that's dependent on that so you just click on that and you have to save the drawing and hit yes and what it shows you here is everything associated with this drawing if you had pictures in here it would show you the images if you had plot styles or any other thing so we have a plot style right here associated with that so you want to carry that over to the other person so when they go to plot it it will plot the same um, colors in or shades will come out also your reference files you know uh, many people send me files uh, the main files but I don't get the XREF so when I open it up there's basically nothing there but you, you will make sure if you do it this way you'll get it or any XML documents or other data that's associated with that so you can actually unclick some of this if you want to and that's all you really need to do you can hit OK and then you can save save the file and notice it puts it in a zip format because it puts everything compiles it into one file And after we get done, we can take a look at uh, exploring. You go and explore and take a look at that to make sure that it got everything. Okay, here's our zip file. And if we click on that, we'll notice that it's put everything in here. So it's nice and neat compiled everything in a zip file so you can you know send this by disk or FTP or email it quickly to a client or somebody you're working on a project with and you'll make sure that they have everything there's nothing left out that they shouldn't be able to do or use to create exactly what you have on your system or your computer and essentially that's that's the best way if you want to transfer data and don't have to worry about well, where, what's all linked to it or where's all my files at or whatever. So that's the best way to do it. And it's a pretty cool way. I like it. I use it all the time. It's a good deal.